Weather-wise lesson for today. When forecasting, we look at the different movement of air masses. So what is an air mass? What are the different types? An air mass is a large body of air. Generally has uniform temperature and humidity. Let's look at all of the different types of air masses and classify them. First, A means Arctic. That means very cold. P is for polar, which is cold, just not quite as extreme as Arctic. T is for tropical. Think warm and hot. Next, we have a location where air Air masses form. C is for continental. Think dry. M is for maritime. Think ocean, wet and humid. Now let's put them together. CA is continental Arctic, dry and extremely cold. CP, continental polar or dry and cold, but maybe not quite as old as Arctic. MP is maritime polar. Think wet and chilly. CT, continental tropical or dry, warm, hot, kind of like a desert. And then MT, maritime tropical or hot, warm and humid. Now let's map these out. Taking a look at our globe here, this is where these form. CA, continental Arctic, way high there on the globe up towards the poles. Then CP, continental polar, that's usually placed somewhere around Canada or maybe up towards Greenland. As we take a look, MP, maritime polar, that's over the chilly parts of the ocean. A little further south, MT, maritime tropical, where our ocean waters are warmer. And then last one, CT, continental tropical, that's a warm air mass over land. When these air masses collide and clash, that's when we can get storm systems. Those storms could produce rain, snow, severe weather, and more. Here in the Ohio Valley, we get a mix of these air masses throughout the year, which makes our weather very fun and challenging to forecast. That's your WeatherWise lesson for today. For WHAS 11, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish.